I just heard a rumor that I'm dead. What's the weirdest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? Read it. One time I had to have surgery on my knee because I broke it. Someone at school started a rumor that I was dying because of lack of blood, and I had 40 kids show up to the hospital in one day to donate blood to me. Some people. Mr. Popular. There was a rumor that I got roofied at a party in high school. When I tried to explain that that hadn't happened everyone told me that I wouldn't know if I had been roofied. It was very confusing. You gotta admit, they have a point. I once arrived at a party and got asked what it was like being a member of Mensa. My friend, who was the only person I knew at the party, had started the rumor just for the heck of it, and so I spent the evening making up bulls conundrums and paradoxes. People thought I was brilliant. At my high school reunion, someone asked me if it was true I took the sat while tripping on acid. Not true, but apparently plausible. Nah, usually that's for the ACT. Weirdest rumor heard about myself. I'm a huge germaphobe and I take a bath in hydrogen peroxide every day to cleanse myself of all the germs and bacteria. I have no idea how someone came up with that one. It would also be really expensive. I tore some fibers in my knee in middle school and I was out for about 6 weeks. The day I come back one of my classmates runs up to me going. Serenchi, you have legs apparently there was a rumor going around that I had my legs amputated. Holy crap, you're right. That I'm Hispanic. This was apparently widely believed at work. I'm still in the process of dispelling this notion. My name is very Anglo, but people think I look otherwise. Someone said I look like Mark Sanchez, which I can't see at all. I told my best friend that and he said, that's funny because I was sitting around one day, making a list of the top 20 people you don't look like, and he was at the top. Crap, it's the opposite for me. I am Hispanic and I've people think I'm Filipino, Indian, most common, Persian, Italian, and Hawaiian. Then they hear me speak Spanish and they freak out. In middle school a girl spread a rumor that I was a lesbian and had hit on her. And when I got mad at her she started another rumor that I had threatened to come to her house and kill her. I didn't even know where she lived, but she almost got me expelled and arrested. I later found out she started the rumor because my mom bought me new video games and her mom made her get stuff from Goodwill to teach her lessons about money. Apparently she was extremely jealous. Then in high school some guy told one of my friends that I needed to shop stalking him. This started because one time he saw me at the mall when he was there and we bumped into each other twice. I was actually visiting my mom on her lunch break and then buying a book. I rarely ever went to the mall and when I did it was apparently to stalk people. Peers at my school think that I carry around a potato peeler with which to spontaneously skin people. I accidentally started that rumor myself with a joke, and it just escalated. I actually did bring a peeler to school for a week so I could peel whole carrots and eat them. My high school classmates also thought I was dead, but that wasn't so much a rumor as a weird coincidence. A person in our county with the same name as me actually did die and I found out the next morning when two classmates commented that they thought I was dead. The other me be Kazim got hit by a train. You know, I haven't thought about that day in a while. It just occurred to me that the people who came up to me that day weren't even upset. Like when they saw me, one just acted all dramatic for two seconds then laughed, and the other had literally no emotion. Ha. <laughs> Rumor about my roommate was kind of genius. She was in a new relationship with a guy back in high school, and they were hanging out in her basement. He was clearly uncomfortable and she asks what's wrong. He hesitantly asks her how she feels about horses. She's confused. It turns out, a crazy ex of his started a rumor at their high school that my roommate was obsessed with horses. Like, posters and figurines of horses all over her room, doodles of horses in her notebooks, and the guy had even heard one bestiality rumor. Roommate was mad for a short while, but I honestly gotta give it up for the crazy ex coming up with a rumor like that. No one wants to date the horse obsessed girl. Freaking horses, am I right? Wait, no, I didn't mean it that way. Crap, this is going to start a rumor. Someone in the second grade spread rumors about how I was a robot sent down from space because I got a perfect score on a spelling test I went along with it because come on. People legitimately thought I was a space robot guardian and it was badass. 
When I worked at a summer camp and all the kids thought that I was a robot. Their reasoning was that I had to be a robot because I sat in the lifeguard tower and watched whenever everyone went swimming. Really I just couldn't swim. I was in 4th grade, and a girl that had a crush on me got mad after I told her friend that I didn't like her. Dramatic stuff, I know. Within a couple hours, I was in the principal's office being questioned about a bomb threat that I had apparently placed. School gets evacuated after I have a panic attack I am in 4th grade and being accused of threatening to blow up my school, and can't answer any of the principal's questions. Blah blah all gets sorted out after she admits to telling her friends I had brought a bomb to school. But here's the kicker. It was the 11th of September 2001. Right about the time that the towers fell. And I lived a couple miles from Barksdale Air Force Base, the biggest nuclear weapon storage facility in the country. This base also happened to be where Bush flew to to make an address after the attack. In hindsight, that explains the B-52 circling the school and the military bomb squad that showed up. I guess I messed with the wrong girl, TL, DR, girl told principal I made a bomb threat the day of 9-11 attacks, I was currently within 10 miles of where Bush was scheduled to address the nation. Only in America is a girl in 4th grade taken seriously about an apparent bomb threat by another classmate in 4th grade, 4th freaking grade. Not so much a rumor, but a common misconception was that I was the son of a pastor. It wouldn't even be worth bringing up, except that it probably couldn't be further than the truth. My dad was addicted to drugs, a drunk, and a womanizer. Being good was my way to rebel. Being good was my way to rebel. See, to me, that would have been the dead giveaway that you were not the son of a pastor. The pastor's kid is always the rebel. Either that I had cancer, I didn't at the time, I had an unrelated heart condition, but developed a mild skin tumor a year or so later. Also, that 5 feet to me, small, skinny and with a physical disability banged up, beat up, a 6 feet 0 rugby player in my year, I went along with that one though. Rumor in high school that I was a total S, sleeping with everyone, I was a virgin till 4 months before my 21st birthday. Similarly, in high school I was rumored to be a huge pothead. Most likely because I was a guy with long hair who looked like the typical stoner. I actually haven't ever smoked anything my whole life. Someone once started a rumor in front of my face telling everyone I was pregnant. By the time lunch break ended, 30 minutes later, I was in the headmaster's office being questioned about the rumor. TL. DR. Private schools spread rumors faster than wildfire. Oh god, don't even get me started. Small private school, 6th 12th grade, and if anything happened everybody knew. The fact that we had under 100 people in a grade didn't help either, and being with that same small snotty group of kids for 7 years didn't help either. I played tackle football with a classmate once and I tackled him so hard his body just collapsed like he suddenly had no bone structure. Everyone laughed at him and so he started a rumor that I was on steroids and I was the last one in school to know. Why were people laughing at him his freaking bone structure collapsed? I heard, from a few different people, that I had gotten a blow job on my couch from a nasty chick that lived nearby. My mom started the rumor. Yeah, I used to start rumors about guys that I gave blowjobs to also. So, I'm diabetic type I, which wasn't exactly easy to explain to classmates. They understood why I couldn't do sports when my blood glucose levels were too low. No energy to do sports. Reasonable, but explaining why I couldn't do sports when I was too high was tiresome. So in basic school, I just told people all the sugar would make me too strong and I could hurt myself and others and could also get an unfair advantage. Crazy thing? That rumor survived until senior high school. I once overheard a former classmate who is much taller and stronger than me tell another guy about the time I beat him up because my sugar was too high. Among some people, it was a well established fact that I could push 300 pounds when my blood glucose was too high. The rumor was immortal. Denying it was no use. I think there are still people who believe it out there. TL. DR. I am Sugar Hulk. I went to the hospital after a concussion from gym football, and when I returned I learned from some friends that the rumor was not only did I apparently have seizures in the hospital but that I was legally dead for a while. Neither of those things were true.
No, you're actually dead. This is heaven, aka Reddit. Someone started a rumor that I have a smelly purple dong. It happened completely out of nowhere. I found out when I met my friend's girlfriend for the first time. She said she had heard about my smelly purple dong from one of her friends. My dong is most certainly not smelly or purple though, so there is little validity to that rumor. Smelly purple dong is far too easy to say for it not to be true. Sorry, man. Thus far I've been dead, on H, psych ward, jail and captured in Afghanistan. Always wondered who started all of those. That I was pregnant, I was 15 and had been going to school about once every two weeks due to health issues. Came back and got told I was pregnant, news to me. I was in a similar situation, only my genetic illness requires me to do intravenous injections every 3 days, so it looks like I have track marks. Not preggers, just a rage addict at the age of 14. Frick people. There was a rumor going around in my family that my cousin and I made out at another cousin's wedding. This rumor got even worse because he had a thing with one of my friends, live 6 hours away from us, and used visiting me as a cover to visit my friend, thus getting really upset when his parents wouldn't allow it, which made them believe it that we had a thing. Gross. Don't get me wrong I know it happens. But he's my family there's no way I'd be making out with him. TL. DR. Family thought cousin and I made out. Nice try, Mebi. I hear all the time on Xbox Live that I am a ref with no life living in my mother's basement. I don't know who started this crap but it needs to stop now. Apparently around the middle of my senior year of HS I was really worried that I got my ex pregnant. I found this extremely funny considering she, 1, was in a different state, 2, had actually come crying to me for help with a pregnancy scare of her own, 3, had never even had sex with me, so yeah, that was an interesting revelation, especially when I had people tell me I was lying. I've never been in a fight once, never been to detention, nothing, in my 21 years of existence. So I brought a pen to middle school, grabbed a bunch that morning, that happened to be a carpenter's pen. By 7th period, I was called to the principal's office. Apparently someone, the person I lent the pen to, claimed I knew there were exacto blades in the pen. I had to have out of school suspension for 3 days. When I came back, one kid was afraid I was going to stab him for being a witness that I knew there were blades in the pen. TL. DR. Rumor had it I stab you if you tattle tell on me. Snitches get stitches. That I slept with my high school chemistry teacher to get the A that I earned. Apparently no one can believe that a girl could actually be good and like chemistry in high school. Semi similar rumor started about me, before I left for college. I heard people thought I had lied about my ethnicity to get a scholarship. I am Hispanic, and thus got a Hispanic merit award. I guess people couldn't get past my flowing red locks and freckles. Thought I was Irish. At the end of high school a rumor was propagated that I went up with this girl and gotten shirtless in the mountains. Yeah, that didn't happen. An odd rumor to start too. Why shirtless in the mountains? Some dumb C I went to high school with told everyone I popped my ovary out. And people were dumb enough to believe that was anatomically possible. I only attended my first high school for a year, and spent the other 3 years somewhere else. Only a few people knew that I had transferred, and I guess they must have kept that information to themselves. When I came back the following year to visit, a lot of people seemed shocked to see me, or looked at me with or some strange kind of fear. Apparently they thought that I had either been dead, just released from jail, or had moved to another country whose black market I had supposedly been involved in. While I attended school though, there were rumors that I was a drug dealer and that the rest of my family was dead, and I lived alone in a basement somewhere. I've never touched drugs, never been to jail, my family is fine, and my life is not nearly as interesting as everybody made it out to be. I've heard plenty of rumors about me circulating, that I'm gay, that I'd been cheating on my girlfriend, 
that I'm cheating on my girlfriend with a gay lover. Minor stuff. But what took the cake was when I started hearing rumors that I was from Finland and an illegal immigrant. I was flabbergasted, but it was obvious in hindsight I listened to a band called Termian Catalyt, a Finnish electro-industrial metal band, and became ensorcelled in the language. I learned Finnish in my spare time and apparently, in Texas, learning a new language that isn't Spanish on your own is grounds for being suspicious. It got serious when I was called into the administrative office and told I would have to produce my birth certificate. My mother raised heck, but we eventually handed it in just to avoid hassle. It still gets to me. I didn't even go to the school at the time and people were saying I murdered my best freaking friend. The only guy I kept as a close friend since freshman year and people really believed I did it. This was like less than 2 months. Colon I still miss you man. R.I.P. There was this rumor that I was huge s at 15, and had to give birth to twins somewhere far away from the village I lived in. I was virgin till I turned 20, I didn't miss a single day of school, when would I have, gone far away to hide said twins, and I was skinny as frick, accused of anorexia skinny, how did no one notice, ah, but I'm trying to use logic, I always do, makes my brain hurt, but I can't help myself. When I was in 6th grade a girl was trying really hard to convince me that I'd had sex with my best girlfriend who had moved away in 3rd grade. Nice try, B. But I'm gay. That I had been banging Kelly Osborne and made her split up with her boyfriend. Bobby D. I've never even met the girl. When I was in HS there was a new guy that I befriended BC I thought he was cute. After passing a few awesomely folded notes back and forth for a week or so, I asked him out. He told me he couldn't date me BC being new and all he didn't wanna be that guy. I was confused so I questioned him more only to find out that apparently I had slept W every guy in the school. At the time I had just barely lost my virginity to my BF of 2 years who didn't even go to my school yet we had broke up and had only dated one other guy there, TL, DR, I am a big s who slept w every guy in school. I got into a fight in junior high on the bus, basically all we did was hit each other, no one really won, but there were rumors that I spit in the girl's face, that would never happen, if I fight someone, there is no pansy like hair pulling, scratching, or slapping, that's my purse, I don't know you. In high school, a girl spread a rumor that I was her sister. I am an only child and I had never spoken with this girl before. OP, you dang well better have replied with the rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Such opportunities must not be wasted. I crap you not. That is my Facebook status. That I was sick. My best friend's sister's boyfriend's brother's girlfriend heard from this guy who knows this kid who's going with the girl who saw me pass out at 31 flavors last night. When I was in high school there were two rumors about me. The first was that I had cancer. The second was that I had AIDS. Fractured a few vertebrae and slipped some discs in my back skiing during spring break. Missed a week of school afterwards because walking was still a bit of a bee. Walked in the next week to people staring and saying that they heard I was paralyzed. No one called or stopped by to see me during my absence either. Buttholes. I started a rumor about myself that I was pregnant. Just to see how fast it would spread. I recruited two people from 6th period to spread it. They were the only two that knew it was fake. By the middle of 7th period, I had received about 30 texts and my sister about double that asking when my due date was and etc. Apparently really fast. People thought I was crazy. I thought it was funny. During high school my three best friends were chicks. I'm a dude, and we were all really close. Apparently the rumor going around for our last three years of school was that we were all sleeping together and that I had killed someone once. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.